Hey, what's up, guys? I'm out here today with my newest rimfire rifle, at least new to me, my new Seiko P94S. And before I go any further, let me give a shout out to my buddy Logan, who sold me this gun, and I've been playing with it. And it's ever bit as accurate as he said it was. Now, shoot some five shot groups at 50 yards, see how it'll do. And in between each group, as I change ammos, I'll shoot five fowlers to season the barrel before we get going again. Now I've already found, screwed it up with RWS special match. That's all I've got that's RWS right now, except for their little budget ammo that I do not like. Wait, before we get started, let me shoot me a fowler again. So let's see how the special match does. Now for guys that watch my Rimbex videos, which I love that gun, this is a sport of weight rifle. I don't think it'll compete with that, but we'll see. Not bad, not bad. That looks pretty damn promising. I think if I fouled that in for a while and the gun was warmed up, it'd do better than that. All right, Ely Biathlon. I don't know why I keep buying this shit. I think I just like the blue box. <laughs> that wasn't me. Sure. Oh, shit. Where'd that come from? That was ugly. Maybe it was the first one that was the flyer. Oh, what? May have been. Maybe I didn't foul season the barrel in long enough. Nah, just doesn't shoot very damn well. All right, Ely target. Hey, um, I wasn't very damn impressive, but then again, I don't have very good luck with that Ely target. Now we're starting to move up to the Ely stuff that I really like. All right, Ely team, let's see how this thing's living. No worries, this is a very velocity sensitive rifle. Everything's shooting up and down. I have, I'm not moving the sight. One of them's at the very extreme top and then it'll be at the bottom. Yeah, that wasn't very good either. All right, Ely match. I keep having to remind myself, this was not a 14 pound bull barrel rifle with a big wide four in got that little sporter four in that's kind of rocking back and forth i'm having to do like this so part of that is me probably a big part of it's me damn it whoa let's string it up and down like hell i ain't discouraged Right now, I'm fixing to try the 10X. Then I'm going to move over to Lapua and SK. The guy that I bought the rifle from said that that's what it likes the best. I do know one thing. I'm about to pull this thing out the stock and adjust it. Trigger is breaking at about three and a half pounds. And all of my rifles have such a light trigger. I've become such a big old pussy. You pussy. Got a heavy trigger. I'm kind of fighting it. It's breaking. I'm having to work through it a little harder than I want to, but it's got a nice adjustable trigger. I just got to adjust it. Well, it sucks, but that's life. It's always the most expensive one that shoots the best. Guys, if you're interested in trying out one of these Seikos or just want to see somebody that really can get the best out of it, there's going to be a link below to my buddy Allen's channel. It's Aussie Bitress Shooting. He's got a Seiko that his is a Barman or Bitress version of this, and he can naturally shoot the piss out of it. If you don't mind, go over there, give his channel a look. Hi, my name is Alan from Aussie Bitress Shooting. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Right. Now, let's move over to some SK. We'll start out with some SK Pistol Match. 
This hadn't done worth a shit. shit. Nothing else I got. Maybe it'll shoot in this. I keep hearing guys are shooting at competition and rifles. I don't know what the hell the deal is with it. I can't get it to do nothing. But I'm going to give it to good old college try and find out. Get it, pistol match. Get it, boy. Damn. This son of a bitch here is about to give me a chubby. All right, no Ely in the Seiko. Mwah. About time I found something you would shoot in. All right, next up, SK Standard Plus. This is very rapidly becoming my favorite budget ammo right up there with the Ely Contact. Okay, SK High Velocity. Ooh, I wish I hadn't have bought so much of this. Or maybe it'll shoot out of this. Holy crap, this has shot like shit out of everything else I've got. I literally have bought Walmart big box brand. They shot better than this, but fingers crossed. Ooh, you can hear the difference in it. And some of the Jerry ain't subs on it. I must around find me a marmot stock for this thing. Get that trigger lightened up. This gun here might be hell. Maybe not with that ammo. Let's see. That's not bad. Well. For something that fast, that wasn't too bad. By the way, if anybody out there's got a, <laughs> an iPhone 13, 14, or 15, it doesn't need to be able to connect to the network, but it's in reasonable shape and the camera still works, I could use it because that's what I normally use for a downrange camera. And I shot mine earlier today filming a different video. Damn it. Damn it. That's a third or fourth camera I've shot down range. You dummy. Strange. Part of that may be me. All right, last group. Lapua Center X. Most expensive shit I got. I'm going to give me one of them damn Sinclair bag riders, lighten that trigger. You're going to see this in a different video. This thing is showing every signs of being able to really shoot. All right, come on, get that last one in there. Yeah, every indication. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Look for my other videos and look in the links below. And make sure and check out my buddy Alan's channel. See ya.